how young Ash had never acted before in his life when we rocked up and the camera equipment and sound equipment and everything's getting unloaded from the truck and he saw the crew and the gear. He had this massive panic attack and for an hour he was in his house, just didn't want to come out, didn't want to do the film, he was done, he wasn't going to do anything. But once he calmed down and realised it wasn't actually that scary, he bloody loved it, you know, he, he was so excited and he didn't want to get off camera, he got this cheekiness that we wanted from him. They always say don't work with kids and the first day on my set I'm working with three of them. We spent a lot of time location scouting, but this one here was the last location we needed and I really wanted a field with, say, grass around knee height, waist height, and I also wanted to shoot in winter and there's just no grass that tall at this that we could find. Um, and there was one of the days myself, Moz and Maddie were doing our usual scout, we were doing some test shots and just trying to get everything sorted and I think, I could be wrong, but I think it was Matt. As we're driving along, heading towards Wallen, he sees this single tree just standing in the middle of nowhere and goes, what's going on with that tree? Let's go check it out. So we jump on over the fence and have a look at this tree and trying to find the right spot to shoot led us down to this little valley. And we saw, like, actually, this, this could really work. The hills and, and the rocks 20 years ago when this film was meant to be happy and joyful and we're shooting in the middle of winter and everything's dark and gloomy. And then on the day when we got there, as you can see, we just got lucky. And for just this, I don't know why, but just this couple of hours that we're shooting, the sun rose up and shone so brightly through those clouds and gave us this amazing, amazing look. It's a wrap on day one. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, we got everything we needed.